Herbs that could damage the liver. You must have heard that herbal medicine is perfectly safe and has no side effects. Herbal supplements don't require a prescription, and you can buy them easily at the health food store. But that doesn't necessarily make them harmless. You'll be surprised to know that some of these remedies, including the all-natural herbal products, may do more harm than good to your body. In some cases, herbal teas and supplements can lead to liver injury and even liver failure. This is called herbal-induced liver injury. Over the past few decades, people have reached for more alternative remedies, in the hopes that this is a safer choice. Despite this perception, some herbs may injure organs, especially the liver. The reason is that the liver is in charge of processing these herbs, leading to herb-induced liver injury. In this video, we're going to tell you about a few of these unassuming culprits, so next time you reach for an herbal remedy, you don't cause harm to your body instead. Number one on the list is green tea extract. Green tea is one of the most widely consumed beverages. It's believed to help with weight loss and cleanse the liver. Drinking green tea is perfectly safe and is considered beneficial for you because it's a rich source of antioxidants, but only if you drink it in moderation, meaning no more than one to two cups a day. On the other hand, green tea extract is entirely a different thing. You see, green tea extract is very potent. It has been linked to hepatoxicity and leading to acute impending liver failure. That is because a cup of green tea contains between 50 and 100 milligrams of catechins and between 30 and 40 milligrams of caffeine. On the other hand, green tea extract contains upwards of 375 milligrams of catechins and as much as 600 milligrams of caffeine. Catechins in moderation are beneficial because they prevent cell damage, but if you have too much, it can result in liver damage. It is no surprise that individuals who consume the extract over an extended period showed signs of acute liver injury followed by liver failure. Kava 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 is an herbal beverage made from the roots of the Piper Methysticum plant. It has been a ceremonious drink in many cultures for thousands of years, but now people have started taking it as an herbal tea for its relaxing effects. Pharmaceutical companies are selling concentrated versions of kava as an herbal medicine to treat anxiety and sleeplessness. Unfortunately, products with the name kava have been connected to acute liver damage, which can be serious and even fatal. St. John's Wort The body responds to St. John's Wort in many different ways. It's true that it has potent antidepressant properties and could improve mood in those with mild to moderate depression. It also has strong antiviral properties that help in the healing and repairing of wounds. But it comes with a warning. Have you heard about a process which we refer to as enzyme induction? It's something you may be familiar with if you've ever heard that grapefruit juice can interact with your medication. Similar to grapefruit juice, drinking St. John's wort interferes with the absorption of your medication. Comfrey. Comfrey is a plant with yellow or purple flowers that is native to Europe, Asia, and North America. It has compounds that could possibly lessen swelling. Some people use comfrey for bruising, osteoarthritis, sprains, and other conditions. However, there isn't any solid scientific data to back these claims. What science does back is that pyrolizidine alkaloids, which are present in comfrey, can seriously harm the liver. Comfrey contains poisonous compounds that can kill you or severely harm your liver. Comfrey shouldn't ever be consumed orally. Even lotions and ointments which contain comfrey should only be applied briefly and under a doctor's guidance. Chaparral. Although the leaves of the chaparral are used to produce medication, there are significant safety concerns with this herb. Due to these worries, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration and Health Canada have warned consumers not to use products containing chaparral. People use chaparral for a variety of diseases, including arthritis, skin disorders, respiratory tract issues, and digestive problems, despite the fact that there's little reliable scientific data to back these claims. People who have consumed chaparral have been linked to numerous cases of severe poisoning, acute hepatitis, renal and liver damage, including kidney and liver failure. As for applying it on the skin, there isn't enough trustworthy information to determine whether chaparral is safe when applied topically. Some people may experience adverse effects, including redness and itching as a result. Aloe Vera Aloe Vera has been a very popular home remedy for many years now. Aloe vera extracts are used for skin care and orally in a variety of herbal concoctions that promise to have miraculous effects. The pulp of aloe vera leaves are used to make aloe vera gel. 
It has received extensive global marketing as a health product with claims of advantages including relief from skin rashes, menstruation issues, acid reflux, and nausea. That's all good and dandy, but did you know that if you take aloe vera and vitamin A together, it can severely damage the liver? Germander Despite significant safety issues, many use germander as a digestive aid, germ killer, treatment for gout, and an aid to weight reduction, as well as to cure gallbladder disorders, fever, stomach aches, and moderate diarrhea. Some people use germander as a mouthwash to destroy oral bacteria and refresh their breath. In reality, germander is highly toxic if ingested and results in liver damage and failure. Its sale is prohibited in some countries like France and Canada. The U.S. still permits Germander to be used in tiny doses in alcoholic beverages. Therefore, Germander has made it on our list of no-no herbs. Pennyroyal Pennyroyal is used to treat colds, pneumonia, and other breathing issues despite major safety concerns. In addition, it's commonly used to treat intestinal illnesses, liver and gallbladder issues, as well as stomach ache and gas. It is used by women to regulate menstrual cycles. Pennyroyal is also used to reduce muscle spasms. Some people use it as a stimulant and combat weakness. Pennyroyal is likely safe when used topically. However, it's very unsafe if it's consumed orally, as it may seriously harm the kidneys and liver. Other negative effects include headaches, high blood pressure, nausea, vomiting, fever, confusion, restlessness, visual and hearing issues, and brain damage. Worst of all, use of pennyroyal leaf extract repeatedly has been connected to deaths. Senna or Egyptian Senna. Popular herbal medicine Senna tea is frequently promoted as a laxative, weight loss aid, and used to detox the system. With the exception of curing constipation, there isn't much scientific data to back up the effectiveness of Senna tea for most of these claims. Senna, which was first grown in Egypt, is now grown all over the world. Senna is now most frequently offered as a tea or over-the-counter supplement for constipation, but it also occasionally is found in drinks and pills for weight loss. Senna, if consumed over a prolonged period, has been linked to liver damage and failure. Sassafras Sassafras tea is a well-liked beverage with a distinctive flavor and aroma that's similar to root beer. Even though sassafras has a long history of being used as a potent herbal remedy, recent studies indicate that it might really be harmful. Sassafras has been at the center of a long debate for decades despite the possibility that it might provide health benefits. This is mostly caused by the presence of saffron, a molecule that can be poisonous to humans and is present in sassafras oil. Saffron may promote the development of tumors and liver cancer. That is the reason it should be avoided. Remember, everything that is herbal is not always safe. Do your research before reaching for any new potions. If you enjoyed our video, give us a like and keep watching your screen for more content.